Drug addiction is the single greatest threat to our community here in Springfield, Missouri. Our systems are maxed out. Social services, probation, parole, prisons, and jails. We can't keep up with the problem. It breaks my heart to see our communities, our families, ripped apart and devastated. It takes a tremendous economic toll on our community. I don't know anyone who's a junkie who enjoys being a junkie. There's a way out of it, and there's hope at the end of that tunnel. I was addicted to heroin, committing crimes, selling drugs, and even on the run for a stabbing. I was a part of the problem, and I had no way out. I went through a faith-led recovery home over 20 years ago. What I learned there changed my life and also gave me the vision for Hope Homes, a place where everyone is welcome to rebuild, revive, and restore their community. So Hope Homes is a one-year recovery program for released prisoners. So we believe by getting them clean and sober that they will go back in and transform the community. The first thing you see is a sign that says, Welcome Junkies, Felons, and Saints. And up until that point, I didn't feel like I was welcome anywhere. They're not as responsive to normal people as they are to people that's already been there and done that. We can see when someone's broken and someone's serious or someone that's just playing games, you know. What we see through John's work, uh, through Hope Homes, through other efforts, is just so encouraging. He has a good vision. When someone graduates from Hope Home, they're equipped to go make a transformational difference in the environment that they came out of. And a pathway to education plays a very significant role in someone being able to change the trajectory of their life. We're honored to be part of that effort. You know, there's a value of having Hope Homes right here in Springfield, Missouri, where we're headquartered as Adult and Teen Challenge USA, coming out of prison, introducing them to the gospel of Jesus Christ. And as a result, we're able to see lives transformed and change. It's huge to have a Hope Homes in your community because they have a track record. Over the last five years, not one person who's gone through the Hope Home ministry has ever returned to prison. Now, it was not until I came to the Hope Homes of the Ozarks Adult and Teen Challenge program that I was really able to have a chance at life. It's that hope that can actually help people do something to get better. So I would say the greatest indication of a return on investment to this ministry, look at the lives that have been changed. There's no better way to invest your resources in growing and strengthening this community than by giving to Hope Homes. <laughs>